Thankfully, I live so close to Tijuana, baby. Let's take bets on when Evan will have the supercharger done. My bet's that it'll be running by mid-June. <laughs> nice meme. Great, now we'll hear about the supercharger for the next four months and then it will finally happen. Please Evan, don't talk about the supercharger for content and just install the damn thing. You guys are brutal. You're all fucked. In case you guys don't know, I destroy thoughts. I get it, that's fair. I'm really bad at installing things and it takes me a long time to do it. And I typically like to take my time on doing things, but that's a huge reason why I'm moving back to Texas. You gotta keep that in mind. I haven't had my own place to work. Look at in the summer, by the way, when I was doing my 1J swap, getting that car to run, I literally worked on it every single day until it ran. I don't usually like to waste time and especially once I get this supercharger, I'm gonna get it installed as fast as possible and have so much fun with it. So I want you guys to know that. A big reason why I'm moving back is because I'm honestly tired of prolonging things and taking too long to install things. Love me, please. Just love me, please. Gotta cover up that, that address. I'm gonna be sending my iBox springs for the SRT back. I gotta somehow fit them in the Porsche today. I did a lot of research on the iBox springs and believe it or not, I'm actually super thankful I didn't install them because these are some of the worst springs to install on SRTs. What's funny is that like the only springs that you can search for and find on the internet. But, like the ride is terrible on them, the quality is terrible, and they drop like half an inch to an inch. And so it's just like eh. Not really a good point. I'm actually going to be getting different set of springs for the SRT and we're returning these. We're gonna go to the shop today. I've gotta to actually take my five point harnesses out of my Lexus to get six point harnesses. We got some stuff I gotta to do today. Oh, oh, baby. Damn, this car's crazy. Man, I'm really excited that I made this video about the check engine light. I actually got the feedback I was needing. This car actually, it does have a problem. It does have a check engine light. It might be something as simple as a gas cap, but I actually did have several like pretty well-renowned companies actually contact me or like, yo, this is usually what the problem is. I would check this, this, and this. I'm gonna try and diagnose the Porsche a little bit today after it cools down when we go to the shop. I might have a vacuum leak. I think worst case scenario, I need to change my mass airflow sensor. That's probably the worst case scenario. Unlikely at 46,000 miles, but it can happen. Ooh, baby! Lexus girl! How old is this lady driving? Oh, never mind, that's a dude. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Lexus gang, Oh my God, I missed you, baby. I missed you. I gotta admit to you guys, after owning one of these and having it so heavily modified, like this car now has a full body kit. It's got side skirts, over fenders, a wing, a custom hood, roll cage, racing seats, that sort of deal. God, it looks so good. These cars are so ugly to me stock. Like that car on the highway we just saw rolling, I was like, I almost vomited. Maybe they're not that ugly, but like, compared to this, I bet you guys out there that didn't know much about SCs had no idea these cars could look this dope. God, I hate leaving this thing alone, man. I can't wait till I have my own garage and I can just come out here and look at it and work on it every day. Damn, this car is so sick. Every time I look at this car, dude, I'm just like, I fall in love a little bit more, man. This car is so sick. So today I've gotta go ahead and uninstall my five point harnesses that I got from Sparco. Funny enough, these are actually drag racing harnesses. I made that video a while back, so I'm not gonna to explain too much. I just need to get the correct six point harnesses. Uh, they actually don't make a five point, um, just a regular five point for stuff like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this. Thankfully, this is extremely easy to uninstall. I literally just have to yeet this out. Somebody's gotta explain this to me. Why is it the people that are drag racing need a harness that's like one? Why wouldn't they just use a regular harness that connects two times to the roll cage? Do people in drag racing not? I don't know. Somebody explain this to me because I'm so confused. There we go. No more safety. Just how I like it, dude. I've been so bummed out these past few months because it's like, I own this car, yeah? But it's at a shop that's 20 minutes from my house or it's been at a shop that's 40 minutes from my house and it's like, I own it, but it's like I have no access to it. So I can't, I can't describe enough to you guys how excited I am to have this in my possession again and my own place. I'm ready to just have my own stuff, my own business, my own videos. Like I'm, it's gonna be really nice. I love you, I'm, I miss you. Now, since this car's cooled off a little bit, I'm gonna try and diagnose and see if I have a vacuum leak. I also went up here and uh, tightened the gas cap a little more. I'm not sure if that'll do anything. I'm gonna take them nice sneaks off. Can't be wearing them boosting the car. Get up in here. Honestly, like the car, this working on this car is not bad. 
but it just takes so long to get all of this assembly off of here. Hey, I'm hoping that the answer is gonna be right in front of me. Oh, it's gonna be so, so hot when I open this. Yeah, yeah. Woo! steamy. But that's where I would have the vacuum leak if I had a vacuum leak. And so it goes to this little solenoid right here and that's what allows my exhaust to do their thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing any problem with any of these hoses. Like all the hoses are on there, they're tight. I've, I've literally checked every line. <laughs> yeah, I guess what we could do, is we could spray some nitrous up in there and see if that engine revs up and get started igniting pretty crazy right there. That's what Trailer Tom's trying to do. Yeah, yeah, Tom, get the hell out of here. Hey, that guy runs fast. No, I'm not gonna spray nitrous in there. You can use brake cleaner if, it, if you have like a, a vacuum leak, you can spray it and actually revs. The car might rev a little bit higher. It's a good indication, but unfortunately we don't have any around here in, in this giant shop. I'm gonna do one last ditch effort. I'm gonna reset the ECU. I'm just gonna unhook the battery and replug it back in and see if that has anything to do with it. It happened immediately after I stalled the car. So I think the car just thinks that I, I had like a bad fuel ping or a huge misfire or something like that. It might think that the fuel system's bad, so I might just need to reset set it and drive it some more. We'll see what happens. Let's not get our hopes up too high, but it'd be sick if it stopped. Oh, hello. Traction control always comes off whenever you reset the ECU, but we definitely still have the CEO. I think I just need to drive it off or maybe even replace the gas cap. Honestly, dude, I don't regret moving to California one bit because we got to make friends with this nice music man that's right here. I kind of miss him, honestly. I wish I, I wish he would come out and greet me every now and then. He was a good friend. <laughs> like this like sometimes you just know the feeling where you just like someday like you're just driving right and you just get the urge to just take traction control off and just drive like a hoonigan like you just want to go to a parking lot and just go do donuts somewhere like I feel like that all too often I feel like it's bad is it bad or is it good because I because I feel like it right now and in California there's no place to go and do that and I have my urges it's, it's Eating, it's eating me inside right now. So many people around, but look at this nice, fresh parking lot. I could do it. I could do it right there. It wouldn't hurt anybody. I swear. All right, the paramedics and the police are learning to drive today. Can I? Are you telling me I can't just go in there and start just whipping a fresh nut? I mean, donut. That didn't come out right. Uh, uh, I hate to, I'm not blaming anybody here, okay? One thing that CarMax really did me dirty on, and I called their hand at it, and they were like, nah, it's fine. Oh, these tires. It's, these tires are cracked, they're disgusting. They have plenty of tread on them, but they're gross. They lose traction really easily. I tried to talk to the very, very stubborn manager. He's like, well, this is, this is CarMax quality certified. It's even got a sticker on the side. But the tires are just like roasted, so I need to figure out some way to just get rid of them and say peace. So I'm not gonna do it today, but before we get rid of these tires, dude, you best believe your boy's gonna do the fattest burnout you've ever seen done in a Porsche. So I'm gonna turn my exhaust onto the quiet mode so that nobody hears, but dude, I'm sorry. These guys are occupied over there, dude. I just gotta rip a fat one, baby. There's one fat one, not gonna hurt nobody. Too sketch, there's too many people around. Oh, I gotta come back later. I gotta come back later and feed this itch, baby. Oh man, y'all thought I was kidding? Y'all wildin'! <laughs> Damn, these guys are still here. Dang. No! No, they're still here! The, all the, the whole freaking police, the whole freaking police of Mexico are here right now. Hello! Okay, alright. Dude, I gotta, I gotta do it. I'm itching. I'm itching. Turn my lights off, dude. I gotta do it at least once. I do a doni. Oh my god, this car is incredible. Control. Oh my god. All right, I'm just gonna pretend. Yo, who was that, my guy? Yo, dude, this car is freaking sick, dude. 
It's all right. Let's um, let's get out of here. It's fun to fun to see you, Mexico. Thankfully, I live so close to Tijuana, baby. Oh my God, I gotta exit through the. <laughs> there's, the <tra> <laughs> there's there's literally a trade show going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of here, dudes. Hey, you know what, man? These are all good people here. They deserve a nice show. <laughs> I'm so scared to clutch kick in this car, though. Oh, let's go, baby. All right. Now I'm happy. Now I'm gonna drive the speed limit home. I'm gonna be so nice to everybody. I'm gonna be good this year so Santa can give me nice presents. I'm gonna text my mom. I'm gonna be a good boy. I smell tires and that's so good. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh this baby stinks. We got some nice, some nice skirt skirt marks on the car. Got these babies a little steamy. You know, maybe honestly that's what these tires need. In order to be safe, maybe I just need to take a coat off of the top and make them safe tires again. I just need some fresh tread. And I think that's exactly what we did today. Very safe. This car actually holds pretty well. I can't believe it. Like I couldn't, it was hard to brake traction. It was hard to keep it sideways because it just wanted to snap back into position. I can't wait to take this thing on a track day sometime. You guys know just as much as I do, sometimes you just gotta send it. Thankfully, I live very close to Tijuana. <laughs> Be very careful out there on the streets. Don't do anything stupid. You could hurt innocent puppies like this one. This innocent puppy could get hurt by you. Look, guys, he got a haircut. He literally gets whiter and whiter every time we chop off his hair. He's been hanging around me and Victoria too much. He used to be black. We turned him white. Pasty gang. To this video, I just want to say a quick encouraging note. Whatever's going on in your life, no matter how much anxiety it gives you, no matter what's going on, no matter how bad it may, no matter how big or bad it might seem, I just want you guys to know that it's not permanent. You can get over it. Just because you can't see over the hill doesn't mean what's over the horizon is not wonderful. Just keep your hopes up and be victorious over the obstacles that you're given. Peace out and be victorious. Ah! Woo. That was a nice end. That was a nice send. <laughs> Make sure you watch one of those two videos right on the screen, right there, literally. Don't click out of my channel, I swear to God. You best not do that.